Hi, this is a second video in the series of running Python from the command line and this time I'm going to do this in, um, in the Mac. And so it's going to be the same um, setting as for the Windows video. And here um, I'm going to use a program in Python to look for two keywords in a, in a text file. And I'm going to write it as if um, I'm going to get the input from the keyboard using the input function. But what I'll do is that I'll, I will run the program in a terminal window and will feed it a long uh, list of poems from Emily Dickinson, which is about 200,000 characters. And the program will just look at that as if it were input from the keyboard. All right, let's get started. Um, this is my um, terminal window. It uh, could look black for you. I use a default of white for, for me. And this is my program here. Um, it declares two keywords, mother and father, these are strings. There's a sentinel, the end, and when the program is going to find this string in, um, in the input, it will stop. So the loop will, will keep on going as long as it doesn't find this. And um, I have two counters, key one count and key two count. Um, a boolean to control how long the loop actually goes. And my loop starts right here. It's a while loop. It says while time to stop is false. Um, which is true at the beginning. I set it to false, so the loop will start. I'm going to get something from the input, from the keyboard, change it to uppercase right away, save it in the variable line, so that's the string. And I'm looking for the sentinel right away. Have I found the sentinel? If so, I change time to stop. The else part will not be down, done since there's nothing else in the loop. I will go back. Time to stop is now true, which is not equal to false. The loop will stop. And after it stops, I will print how often I've seen the word mother or father um, on these lines. So it doesn't actually count the number of time it sees the keywords. It counts the number of lines that contains the keyword. Um, all right. So um, one way to create it um, is to use TextEdit. So TextEdit is a default editor for the Mac. I could have created this file um, here to some program. Um, that's one way to do, to do it. Another way of, of uh, doing it, let me move this away, is to use Emacs, which I have installed on my um, on my Mac. Emacs count no window, and so I have a nice editor that I can use for editing my my file. So it's it's done. I can run it. So to run it. I, uh, I think Python 3 is the default, 3.2. Python 3.2 is the executable. It's in my path. Uh, it's installed on my, on my Mac. And I can say um, count. And if I don't provide anything, it will assume that I'm going to enter information on the keyboard. So here I'm enter, entering random characters, mother, mother again, father, and the keyword, the, the, the um, sentinel is the end. All right, the program stops as soon as it sees the sentinel on the input. And it has counted two lines that contained, contained the keyword mother and one line containing the keyword father. So now let's um, grab um, all uh, of Emily Dickinson's poem from the web. So the project Gutenberg contains a lot of um, open source, um, non-copyright uh, um, books. And Emily Dickinson's poem are there. So I'm going to just control um, oh, sorry. Alt, Apple uh, A to select everything, Apple C to um, copy everything. And so now I'm going to create a file directly from the keyboard, so cat redirect into Dickinson text. Um, what that means, it says type whatever is at the keyboard, whatever is going to be typed to the keyboard, feed it to a file called Dickinson text. And instead of typing anything, I'm going to paste the page that I've just copied. So Apple V to paste. And all the information now goes to um, the file. There's a lot. I have to wait until we reach the end. All 
Okay, and now I have to make sure that I don't forget to add the um, Sentinel that I'm looking for. Now, with Windows, to mark the end of the file at the keyboard is Control Z. With the Mac, it's Control D. Same as for Linux. And now I'm back at my um, desktop. All right, and I see that Dickinson text now is a new file that I have, and it contains 197,000 characters. And um, now I'm going to run the program as I did before. So Python 3.2, uh, count keywords, and now redirect, get your input not from the keyboard, but from the file Dickinson text, which I've just created. And you see that it goes very fast. Um, and it found uh, two lines containing mothers and 18 lines containing uh, the keyword father. All right, so that's a very brief uh, tutorial to show you how to run um, Python programs on the Mac from the command line and feed text files instead of um, input from the keyboard.